The exciting aspect of Commander Wagner's bloody personality is his ability to write children's stories and create their drawings. There have been many reports about the life of the commander of the rebel Wagner forces, Yevgeny Prigozhin, who led an insurgency against Russian President Vladimir Putin. But the most unknown area of his biography is his work in writing and illustrating children's stories. The commander of the Wagner forces was born in Leningrad, now St. Petersburg, in 1961, nine years after Putin was born, and his father died when he was young. Judicial documents from 1981 confirmed that Prigozhin, then 18, robbed and robbed a woman and her companions on a St. Petersburg street. He later committed other robberies over several months. He was sentenced to 13 years in prison. He was released in 1990, as the Soviet Union was collapsing. He returned to St. Petersburg, when the city was on the brink of a massive transformation. The man began selling sausages in the kitchen of a modest apartment belonging to his family. But his ambitions were much bigger and he knew how to achieve them. It wasn't long before Prigozhin owned a stake in a chain of department stores. In 1995 he decided to open a restaurant with his business partners. At first, he used dancers and strippers to entice customers, but after the word broke that the food was excellent, the strippers were separated. Pop stars and businessmen flocked to the restaurant, as did the mayor of St. Petersburg, Anatoly Sobchak, who sometimes came with his then-deputy Vladimir Putin. When Putin became president of Russia, the commander of Wagner's forces was able to draw closer to Putin and join his own world. The Dreamy Leader of Wagner Author of Children's Stories But the exciting aspect of Wagner's bloody character is his ability to write children's stories and create illustrations. The commander of Wagner's forces wrote one comic story for children in collaboration with his son and daughter, the only evidence so far that he did this seemingly strange work. The story is titled Indragusic, and its introduction, of which only 2,000 copies have been printed, states that it was a collaboration between Prigozhin and his son and daughter. And the story sheds an extraordinary light on a man who became famous for his bloody tactics in Ukraine and his grinding differences with top Russian generals. Set in the land of little people or dwarfs who live among ordinary humans and follow Indragusak, he falls from a giant chandelier and tries to find his way back there. According to the book's introduction, Paulina and Pavel, the son and daughter of the Wagner leader, suggested the names of the main characters and persuaded their father to invent a story about a little boy named Indragusak and his sister Indragusa. When Indragazik was published in 2004 by an obscure publisher, Prigozhin, who spent nine years in prison for theft in the 80s, ran a successful restaurant in Street, 